Can we talk? Am I in a safe place? Can this conversation be about me today? Seriously, today my kids are leaving. So whenever my kids leave, it feels weird. I'm not secure in them leaving yet and I'm sure time will change that. As much as I need breaks, that mom instinct, that attachment keeps me worried for them. I mean, can I be honest? Can I be honest here? I don't have the ability to pick up the phone at any given time and say, hey, you know, are the kids okay? Everybody made it in safe or without any drama or just that normal parenting friendship is a constant reminder for just a teeny weeny teeny weeny little millisecond that I used to not be a single mom. And don't get me wrong, honey. Don't be like, uh uh girl, I know you're not thinking. No, I'm not. I'm very happy in my space. I come home, I don't argue with anybody. I'm happy. Like I said before, being single is a good thing for me, you know? Um, I can't say anything else for anybody else, but it's good for me and I needed the time in between the space. Um, but you know, this is a channel where I talk about, you know, my life experiences. I can't speak for anybody else and how it feels. And I only assume that you guys want me to be open and you guys watch because I have an audience of single mothers or just a big demographic of women who watch me and I just don't feel like I could not not vlog this day and talk about like what it feels like or how I feel because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> So that when you go through these things, you could be like, ah, I'm not, you know, not normal because I feel a certain tinge of something. But I can say this, it does get better. It's gotten a whole heck of a lot better because I've only done like, like how many drop offs? One, two, maybe three drop offs. Okay. <laughs> so nothing ever how you think it should be, how it's done in the movies, how movies speed things up and then things are just bam bad and then things are just bam great. That's not how it works in real life. It's a real process. It takes people time to be able to get from point A to point B to I hate your guts to hey, I don't hate your guts anymore. I'm not saying that I like your guts, but to the point where I don't hate your guts anymore. So I think it's a process. It just you do have I do have those moments or you may have that little tinge and it's not something that's completely depressing to me or anything like that it's just like that little moment that little millisecond that says oh wow and then that's when I step in and I tell myself I'm a mother loving unicorn that's what I am and it doesn't matter you know what happened or you know how I got to this point I'm a unicorn you're a unicorn you're amazing that's how happiness settles in for me. I'm telling you, the world is a bad enough place to even sit and talk down to yourself. To say, oh, because y'all know I've been there. I did that. I came to you guys, I don't know how many years ago, in a bathroom. And I was like, I'm going to be the single mom. And, uh, I'm so glad I recorded that. And it's such a reflection how life and time moves on and how things get better and how a situation where you thought it was totally the end and totally devastating can really turn into something beautiful. Here I am in my bathroom looking completely beautiful if I do say so myself. <laughs> you know compared to back when I was in my bathroom crying my eyes out because I thought being a single mom was going to be like the worst thing ever. My kids are in a great environment, a great, happy, positive, loving environment where they are flourishing, you know, academically in their peer groups and just being great human beings. So if, if that speaks for itself, it means that I am a unicorn and I have done a great job. 
you know like your children are truly a reflection of you if you are raising them i'm just saying i'm just tooting my own horn here y'all okay so what i do to punch that millisecond that little tinge of oh my gosh you know i didn't ask to be in the situation that's the devil number one okay that is negativity really trying to creep up and steal your joy of your moment of freedom you can see all the way down to my soul because this is not a time where I'm even going to think about coming home and laying in my bed. Well, I, girl, I'm lying. I'm going to come home, lay in my bed and get some rest and watch Netflix and eat um, chocolate covered ice cream bars. Yes. But to sit in my bed and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so alone. No, girl. That ain't what we're going to do. We're going to live our best life. I'm going to put on a bathing suit and go to the beach. And I don't think y'all ready for all of this jelly. Um, and when my kids come back, I feel better. I feel blessed. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I can be a better mother for them. And it's so weird. Like when you're going through it at first, you don't understand that you need that time. But I have some friends who are going through what I went through. And you know that saying, you won't be the first or the last. It's so weird to see yourself in somebody else and to see how moms we just want to hold on and be the best until we literally break into a million pieces um and i'm i told my friend i'm like girl get your break okay you know what i'm saying get your break if he can get the kids give him the kids and run do you hear me run because you need that time to restore yourself and to be there for you know your kids when they're with you you need to take every moment that you can to yourself because that's one thing that people like to use against you okay your mental stability when you're you know when you have your kids and you're going through something so detrimental people love to use that against you girl but i'm here to tell you ain't nothing wrong with you you going through but you do need your break so get your break you you go give them the kids and you run it don't matter if they come back with two shirts and one pair of jeans and you know messy hair it don't matter you can fix it and you're gonna fix it when they get home so that's what i tell myself as a mom, you know, when you go on the airplane and they tell you you got to put the air bag on you first because who's going to help your kids? Because your kids ain't going to help you breathe. They're going to suck the life out of you, girl. You put your air bag on. I'm putting my air bag on today and I'll be able to get to help them when they need me. Because I'm telling you, y'all, I ain't going to say I'm tired. As much as you know, I may complain about having a messy house or laundry for days or what we're gonna eat for dinner or telling somebody not to jump off the bed because I got their cape at Target, you know, on clearance, half off for zero dollars that don't even exist. So if you fall off this bed and bust your head over to the white meat, you will not be healed immediately. You know what I'm saying? As you know, as much as kids drive you crazy. You still love them. I still love mine and I'm still gonna miss them. And I still get a little misty when they have to go because I just love them to pieces. And speaking of having to go and having this conversation, I gotta get their bags packed. I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. Let's do it. Put absolutely nothing in my coffee is completely black and I left the spaghetti and meatballs out last night that's life let's get these suitcases packed but first I gotta tackle old girl's hair Jojo bean Jojo bean What's the matter with you, pretty girl? Ooh, I'm trying to get you all beautiful today. Cause you're beautiful every day. Y'all, JoJo's bean is, hair is so easy to do. 
There's not much to it. Okay, so I have this, this, with the matching car pants, red sweater, blue pants, and the Calvin Klein outfit that's going in. Jojo has her Hello Kitty outfit with the Hello Kitty. Two, one, and this shirt. Okay, this outfit. These pants. Um, well, you guys got your jackets. That's why I packed you your jackets for Virginia. You got your nice fleece jackets. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. You know, Virginia is different from Florida. Y'all, get these kids out of the house on time. I feel like I'm late everywhere that I go. And they just are not listening to me. And literally, I'm just going to dump them out of the car and be like, bye. See you later. Everybody's ready to go. Awesome, awesome. I know that you guys are gonna have a wonderful time and I'm super excited for you, Summer, that I'm gonna ask you that you guys be respectful to everybody, okay? And I know that you are a respectful kid, so it doesn't matter what I have to say because I'm your mom. And I'm gonna cover you in the blood of Jesus Christ and pray that you get to your destination and location safely and return to mommy safely and that you will abide by any adult and their rules. You got it? Okay, do not embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. Okay, Maximus, put your jacket on. Everybody put your jacket on, okay? Let's go. Let's go.